as you can tell from the title of this video, you know what time it is. It is bookstore time and I am very excited. I don't really have anything in mind that... Actually, I do have something in mind that <laughs> I wouldn't get. I have a gift exchange at work next week and I want to get a book for that and then I may just get one or two books for myself. We'll see. I feel sometimes just the overwhelm gets me and I only feel like getting like one book but we'll see what sticks out to me and I also kind of have to be careful because I'm not really sure what people got me for Christmas so I don't want to maybe get a gift that someone already got me so it just should be fun to browse. I may get a little coffee and it will just be a good day and we are also going to the Barnes and Noble that's bigger so that's always very exciting because it's just I don't know more to look at I guess so that will be fun but I will see you guys when we're there here is my little fit check I'm just wearing a Ohio red sweater it's kind of Christmassy and I've got my tote bag of course just jeans and hey dudes <laughs> so super cozy today and just hoping that the vibes are perfect Thank you. 
adventure. I didn't tell you guys, but we had some other errands to run, so we were just kind of gone for a while, but we went to Barnes & Noble, Trader Joe's, Target, and a couple other places, but none of that matters because I have my books, and I am going to show you guys my book haul. I got a lot of books I'm excited about. It was very crowded there, but we got there like right when it opened, so I had a good amount of time to just browse on my own without it being too, too crowded, but then as we were leaving, it was like super crowded, and I mean, I didn't really expect expect anything different since it is the week before Christmas and it was also kind of like a cozy vibe and I got a iced sugar cookie latte which was delicious and it's just very nice to just browse around and there were a lot of books I saw that I wanted because when I go to the bigger Barnes & Noble they just have such a big selection of books that I typically can't get at my usual Barnes & Noble so it's just tough to decide which books I want to get but I did decide and I am very excited about them but I also was looking for a book for my gift exchange but I did not find it well I mean I found it but I didn't want to pay the price first because I know I can get it cheaper elsewhere so I'm like I really feel like paying almost $30 for this book and for the gift exchange the amount is like $25 so yeah but anyway you don't care about that let's get into the reason why you're here which is probably the book haul so let's get into it so I'll first start off with what I got at Target and that is Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher I have heard the most amazing things about this book and I am very excited to see what I think I have not read a Lauren Asher book but I will be reading her books and I don't know where to start. If I should start with the Dirty Air series or the Dreamland Billionaire series or this one. So if you guys have thoughts on that, let me know which ones I should start with. I know this one's kind of connected to the Dreamland Billionaires series and this is, it's also the Lakefront Billionaire series, but I'll tell you what it's about. It says, Julian, if I ever caught on fire, Dahlia would fan the flames with a smile. So when she returns to Lake Wisteria, I fully intend to avoid the interior designer, at least until my meddling mother exploits my savior complex. The faster I help Dahlia find her creative spark, the sooner she will leave town. But while I was Busy getting rid of Dahlia, I overlooked one potential issue. What happens if I want her to stay? People say the devil has- oh, this is Dahlia. People say the devil has many faces, but I know only one. Julian Lopez, my childhood rival and family friend of me. I vowed to steer clear of him while recovering from my broken engagement, but then the billionaire makes an irresistible offer. Renovate a historic house together and triple our profits. Our temporary truce becomes compromised as we face years worth of denied attraction and mixed emotions. Giving in to our desire is inevitable but falling in love that isn't part of the plan so that sounds really good i've never read a billionaire romance so i'm excited to see what i think of this and i have heard amazing amazing things about this like i have not seen a bad review yet so very excited it's kind of a chunky one though next we're getting into barnes and noble and this was on the buy one get one 50 percent off so i wanted to try this one out because i've never heard anything about it it's called song of silver flame like night and it's by amelie wen zhao i'll show you real quick here is the cover i thought the cover was very pretty which was what drew my attention to it and yeah it was on the fantasy table and buy one get one 50 percent off so of course i had to pick it up like i said never heard anyone talk about this but it says devastatingly gorgeous by Chloe Gong. It says, fate has connected them, but their destiny remains unwritten. Lan spends her nights as a song girl in Hux Gong, a city transformed by the Atlantean colonizers. Her days are consumed by the search for knowledge about the strange mark, an untranslatable Hen character burned into her arm by her mother in her last act before she died. Zen is a practitioner, one of the fabled magicians of the last kingdom. He's never seen anything like Lan's mark, but he knows that if there are answers, they lie deep in the pine forest and misty mountains of of the last kingdom with an order of practicing masters planning to overthrow the Atlantean regime. Yet both Lan and Zen are hiding secrets, secrets that are buried deep within them, secrets that even they still have to unearth. Both hold the power to liberate their land if they don't destroy it first. It says it's inspired by ancient Chinese mythology and folklore and it says transport traders to a lush fantasy world filled with high stakes adventure, glittering magic, and it can all odds romance from beginning to end. That sounds amazing actually. I'm really glad I I picked this up. I kind of briefly read the blurb when I was there, but I didn't see that it was in against all romance. So that sounds really great. And I will keep you guys updated on my thoughts, of course. Also on the buy one, get one 50% off table is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. And the main reason I got this is because I heard 
Rachel Catherine talking about it and I have also seen the Clockwork Reader talk about it. She talked about it like maybe a year and a half ago and she said it was like her new favorite book. So I'm very intrigued by this. It says, all sorcerers are evil. Elizabeth has known that as long as she has known anything. Raised as a foundling in one of Ostermere's great libraries, Elizabeth has grown up among magical grimoires that rattle beneath iron chains capable of transforming into grotesque monsters. When an act of sabotage releases the library's most dangerous grimoire, Elizabeth is accused of treason, with no one to turn to but her sworn enemy, the sorcerer Nathaniel Thorne, and his mysterious servant. She finds herself entangled in a centuries-old conspiracy. Not only could the great libraries go up in flames, but the world along with them. So that sounds really great. I love a magical library situation <laughs> and it sounds like the romance will also be really cute. And lastly, I have Down Comes the Night by Alison Saft. This author has a new book coming out this coming year in 2024 called A Fragile Enchantment. And she also has a book called A Far Wilder Magic, which I have heard nothing but good things about. I didn't see a far wilder magic there so otherwise I would have got both of those because I really want to read both of those but I think this is supposed to be like a really wintry type one. It even says Alison Saff's Down Comes the Night is a snow drenched romantic fantasy that keeps you racing through the pages long into the night. Another blurb says a deeply romantic tale with fresh magic and mystery on every page engrossing haunting and beautiful. That sounds really cute but I'll read the back real quick. He saw the darkness in her magic. She she saw the magic in his darkness. Ren Sutherland's reckless use of magic has cost her everything. She's been dismissed from the Queen's Guard and separated from her best friend, the girl she loves. So when a letter arrives from a reclusive lord asking Ren to come to his estate, Colwick Hall, to cure his servant of a mysterious illness, she seizes her chance to redeem herself. The mansion is crumbling, icy winds haunt the caved-in halls, and Ren's eccentric host forbids her from leaving her room after dark. Worse, her patient isn't a servant at all, but how Cavendish, the infamous reaper of Vesria, and her kingdom's sworn enemy. He also came to Colwick Hall for redemption, but the secrets in the estate may lead to both of their death. With sinister forces at work, Ren and Hal realize they'll have to join together if they have any hope of saving their kingdoms. But as Ren circles closer to the nefarious truth behind Hal's illness, they realize they have no escape from the monsters within the mansion. All they have is each other and a startling desire that could be their downfall. So cute. This is definitely going to be on my winter to read list and I think all of these fantasies will be for sure and I have just been in a mood where I have been wanting to read a lot of fantasy books so yeah that kind of explains the haul and then I also had just seen amazing things about this so fantasy and romance those are my go-tos and I really wanted to get Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb but I decided I would wait to get that and see if I got a gift card for Christmas and then maybe get it with the gift card because that's a more expensive book so like all of these were $13 and then this one was 14 at Target so I just I'm very specific about how much money I want to pay for book, but I will buy Assassin's Apprentice if I get a gift card so stay tuned for that because I should have some more because coming soon because of whatever I get for Christmas and then I will use some money to buy books if I get gift cards so stay tuned and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you got some book ideas because I feel like I love redesigned and Sorcery of Thorns are pretty popular but I haven't really heard a whole lot of people talk about Down Comes the Night or Song of Silver Flames Like Night. So I hope this inspires you and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you in the next one.